Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. It's gonna be all right. On the ground. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad. He wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a ten-year-old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party! What? Really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic! Hmm. So. So, what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man. 
We need to find a couch for your yard one day. Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you wanna hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. <sighs> Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are don't you doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Whoa, good drawing, Lila. Daniel's teacher would be proud of you. Ha! The pretentious artist has spoken. Don't fall asleep before me tonight, or you might see more of my skills. <laughs> you wish. Oh, these fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> No way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. Hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure, but I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey! No fair. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, 
He swore. Yes, I heard tattletale. Hmm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week, or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. Daniel was guilty of being a brat, so the Choco Crisp goes to Senor Diaz. What? No way. You're a cheat. <laughs> nope. I'm the law. Your Honor, I can't let you punish an innocent man. So? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always knew you'd confess. Okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. I have to go to work in my room, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't hurry back. <sighs> OK, let's get this party list started. That'll do. Bet there's gonna be a keg at the cabin. Okay. Better take that instead. Cross that off the list. Drinks down, food to go. You're coming with me. Mm. Maybe this is better. Real funny, Dad. Uh, no harm. I'll pay this back before next week's pizza night. Promise. Dad tries so hard to get on a healthy diet. I can't wait for him to be on Instagram. What the? Is Dad... baking something? I'm broke, so... I better find some cash for tonight. That's right. Que pendejo. It's nice going jogging with Dad every once in a while. Though he's way too chatty. Hmm. 
Hmm. You're not done yet. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? Dad should just sell that other bike. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. That you, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure. Can do. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot. Must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi for him. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Uh, remind me never to get old. Hey, it beats the alternative. Hey, I got it. I think. Hmm. It should have a flex head. I can't reach that bolt otherwise. Hey, did you get your English midterm back? Uh, yeah. I got a B. A B? But you were so confident about the essay you wrote. Yeah, I think Mrs. Calloway is just prejudiced against Vonnegut. But Slaughterhouse-Five is amazing. Hey, you don't got to tell me. Tell her. Next parent-teacher meeting? <laughs> She's getting a piece of my mind. <sighs> Prejudice against Vonnegut. <sighs> hey, seriously. What's taking you so long? Hey, seriously. I'm not a mechanic. Come on. Bring me anything, really. I'll tell you if it's the right one. Here you go. Hmm. Wrong size. I need a 16 millimeter. Is that it? Yes! This is it. Took your time about it, but you did it. I'll make a grease monkey out of you. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade, art. Athletics, engineering, I don't care, as long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. 
I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while, too. And you happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Mmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh, come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Jean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um... By the way... Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean... Yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home, would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun, but not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. I bet Dad had a pretty wild teenagehood, even though he won't tell. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. I would be fucked if I had to help Dad in the shop. It'll be weird having my own car. But then I could take Jen out, if she wants. Come on, open up. Why? Because. Okay, okay. What are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? You gave my choco Chris to Dad. So what? He gave it back. Dude, you're so spoiled. What's with the sisters? You'll see, but not now. So don't come in. Okay, fine. Don't tell me. After all, I'm only your big brother, who looks after you and takes care of you. Stop it. 
All I can say is, watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is gonna be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. <sighs> Did she ask about me? Yes, she wants to marry you. Shut up! And I don't even care if I can't go. Because, because I have secret stuff to do, alone. Of course you do. Daniel's always up to something. Wonder what's next. Time to get in the mood for tonight. That would be sick to just go tag the world. Tat would cut my arm off if I got a tat like that. But when I turn 18. I really like that one. <laughs> I don't totally suck. Turn your life on the flip of this coin. Lila will survive if I take a five to practice my drawing. I should take a good look at the subject before drawing. Again, walk within the trusted beach or swim the swell of the sea. And again, the scary alternative look like certain death to him. Time to take the pen, dude. It never occurred to be very easy. And again, he winced as he flipped his coin and it twirled to his feet. How is this saying? He blamed the coin now aiming for the waves. As he hesitated at the swirl of water that now raged and rained. Blue eyed girls were waiting and he was drowning in the spray. The lighting is nice. It's been a while since I've sketched my room. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay. Got it. He finally slugs it back to land, feeling chewed up and foolish. Empties his pockets. My room almost looks cool on this. Not an easy task. <laughs> good job. So he says, Why did you have me follow the stupid rule, please? Sorry, Lila. I'm just not a selfies kind of guy. Okay. Don't be a stalker, Sean. Man, this is taking forever. Do they... Oh my god. The internet was a mistake. Lila provides the weed tonight. I better be ready.
finally ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. Lower boy, just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. <laughs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so we're set for the night. In case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else. Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? I don't know. Whatever. Do I need to practice? I've seen you in action. Yes. You're totally into her, right? Duh. Why do you think I'm freaking out? She's so super cool. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean! I'm done. Look. I made zombie blood. It's, um... Corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, uh, Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just the, Just bugging the uh, shit out of what? me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, what? I know. Anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? But... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to him. He knows I can be a dick. I'm just stressed out about tonight. Oh, please. We're gonna have so much fun. Maybe tonight's the night. Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time? Don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Ooh, shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Whoa, her hair. Whoa, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh, you will see. Don't touch it. It's for Halloween. <laughs> I see you, Sean. Should we set the wedding date now? Hey, come on. It's just a heart. I like her hair, okay? No big deal. Sure. Leave me alone. I'll call my dad. Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz. He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt! Look! I told you, it was an accident! Better leave us alone. Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage. Pussies. You think you own the block? Dude, did you get that blood on him? Uh, it was, it was an accident. I swear. He's a fucking retard. See what happens when you don't listen? Dad told you to stay in the yard. I know, I know, Sean. I was just acting like a zombie and I forgot. I swear. I swear. Where? Take the little baby back to his crib. Come on, Daniel. We're done. Yeah, go back to daddy. Pussies. No wonder your mom bailed on you. Whoa. Sean, you hit him. 
Get inside now. Sean! You're dead meat, bitch. <clears throat> you and your whole fucking family are going to jail. Losers. What's going Fuck on? Me. Daniel, get over here. Sean, is he hurt? Okay. Okay, step away. Now. Calm down, officer. Shut up. And step back. <laughs> on the ground. Now. Hey, wait. This guy was he started beating me. up my little on brother. The now. Hands behind your Sean. head. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Oh no. Sean, what's Get happening? Off the ground, sir. Dad, we didn't do Sean, anything. Sean, be quiet. I swear. I'm, Sean, this... oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Daddy, be quiet. I want to go home. They're good kids, officer. Don't move. I'm sure they didn't do I anything. I don't move. We didn't Daddy, do anything. It's going to be all right. On the ground. Anyway, hey, come on. Hey. 